welcome back. So I'm adding a rib roast to my steak ager pro 20. And I got this from Wild Fork and it's almost nine pounds. It's a bone in prime rib roast. And I'm gonna let this age for 45 days. So I'm gonna glove up and put it in my rack and then set it in my pro 20. And with dry age, you really don't wanna touch it with your bare hands. So I took it out of the plastic. I have not touched it. So now I'm just patting it to get all the nasty stuff off of it. And then I'm gonna put it in my rack and put it in the Pro 20. All right, so we're gonna take this off. Look how pretty that is. This is a prime rib roast. And now we're gonna put it in my Steak Ager Pro 20. And that'll go on the top shelf. gonna be a little tricky. All right. There we go. There she is. A little tight. Oh, and while we're here, let's look at my New York strip roast. It's been in here three weeks as of today. It's getting really nice pellicles. Oh, funky. In a good way. Once you have dry aged beef, you can never go back. That's my motto anyway, like I can't. It's so good, it looks so wild. It's like moldy, but it's not. Back you go, baby. Cure for mama. Another two weeks for you, all right? So make sure you get your Steak Ager Pro 20. The website is right on the screen. And thank me later. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. And leave me a comment and hit the thumbs up. Mwah. Bye.